We're still getting life in order and it feels good. <gasps> These aren't the right ones. Out with the old, in with the new. Get some things planned, organized, get work done. Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. This is gonna be a, kind of a different vlog, but also not really. It's gonna be somewhere between a normal Tuesday, Wednesday in my life, but also my personal intentions for the next couple of days are to do some of those tasks that I, I guess we could call them reset tasks. So almost kind of somewhere between a regular vlog and a reset vlog hybrid. There's just, there's things I wanna do like wash my sheets, clean out my fridge, wash my hair, did that already, um, restock my pantry. I actually got my next Thrive Market box in, which is great, they're, they're sponsoring today's video. What else, meal prep, just things like that go through my uh, business expenses, more, you know, kind of businessy tasks that I've been procrastinating. And I think it's gonna be a good, productive little reset couple of days mixed in with some normal life things like tap tomorrow. I have a tap class tomorrow. I have a friend over tonight. Normal life things in there as well. But I'm starting off the day by I'm getting ready and Jules, who you all met in the last vlog, I think, um, she is doing very part-time assistant work with me now, which is awesome. We are gonna go check out a really cute new coffee shop over by campus, over by UT and have a little like meeting slash co-working and kind of get things set up and planned out for the beginning of March in terms of work, which is gonna be really nice. And I think, I think I'm already on track. And to be honest, I'm just not feeling very great. I sometimes think I need to mention that in videos because or else people read into it and then they're like, she's sad, something's happening. And I'm like, really? My tummy just hurts. I got glutened like at this point, like nine days ago, and I had a few really bad days in a row and then I felt better, but I'm feeling kind of bad again. And just my stomach is not happy and that always kind of affects everything. So I'm skipping my workout today. I've skipped it the last couple days, just trying to take it easy, hoping I can get back on some movement tomorrow because I do feel mentally best when I get some movement in. So. That's just a little real life update to how I'm feeling, but it's gonna be a good vlog and I'm glad you're here. I filmed a couple videos yesterday. I batched some content, which was nice. And one of them was this keep versus return haul. So I need to eventually take this clothing rack back out, but the things that I know are for sure returns, which are most of them, I'm going to bring to Jules today. One that's a keep are these pants. I think that this video already came out before this vlog. I was trying to get it out before I found out that they were having a sale, um, just coincidentally. So I like switched some videos around because I was like, that's handy. I was waiting on some feedback on a couple of these, but I don't know if I want to be talked into keeping them. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe before I see that video coming out, I'm just going to go ahead and return them because I'm trying to be really um, a lot more intentional with making sure I'll wear the things that I keep. So cleaning up and resetting the house after like a big work day yesterday is also definitely on the agenda. I'm sitting on my counter. <laughs> I feel like a kid when I do that. But next part of reset is a pantry restock. As I mentioned, I'm getting to work with Thrive Market on today's video. This is how I genuinely get like probably 80, 90% of my pantry goods because I save so much money doing it this way and it comes to me. I don't have to go out to the store to get it, which is great. But Thrive Market, I know you've heard me talk about them before because I actually talked about them before I ever got to work with them. I did an honest review on them forever ago um, and I've paid for my own membership myself, but they are a membership based online organic grocery store basically. So I pay for the annual membership because it's cheaper that way. It comes out to about five bucks a month. And then you have access to all their products that are the same price or discounted from what you see in store. And honestly, to get this type of stuff, I would have to go to several different grocery stores around Austin. So it's just, it just makes sense, you know? And I was looking at this order on my app and on my app, I saved $27 on this order as opposed to going out in store. And if you don't, make back your membership fee and savings by the end of the year, they will refund you the difference, which is just so kind. I got a couple different grab and go bars to just keep in the car, make sure 
I'm getting in my calories. I love these from Kind, and these are new. I'm trying these new. They have 14 grams of protein from Aloha. Then, wait, I actually didn't think to plan. This is perfect, because I have some cleaning tasks I want to do, um, specifically clean the glass in my shower. And these are different cleaning cloths. There's even one specifically for glass, which is nice. A few different pantry things that I go through a lot. Nutritional yeast, love it. I love Truff, but I haven't tried their pasta sauce yet. And I've been going through so many edamame noodles. I wanted to try their black truffle pomodoro sauce. And I was out of their hot sauce too. This hot sauce elevates any dish. I love it so much. I have a lot of leftover bananas. So I got these um, no added sugar chocolate chips to hopefully make some banana bread. Just a couple snacks. These are really good. These are Italian snacking beans. Max's favorite, some bully sticks. And then, oh, did you hear him run in? He heard me say bully sticks. And then just a couple things that I still needed for the uh, pantry. I don't have any sort of baking cups. And some, I haven't used these before, but I wanna see what they look like. They are compostable, reusable Ziploc bags. It says it breaks down quicker than an orange peel. Wow, okay, Max is gonna beg until I give him one of these, and then I'll tell you the rest of what I'm gonna tell you. Okay, bud. Okay, sit. Good boy. Oh, let's see, can I reach you? Okay. Enjoy. And something I love, speaking of being glutened not that long ago, is whenever you have dietary restrictions, you can sort by restriction. They have so many different filters, which means you know what you're getting is safe for whatever your dietary restrictions or preferences are. So I love them. I still have a link that is honestly, I think the best historically that they've ever given me. It's 30% off your first order with Thrive Market, and then they're also gonna give you a gift, and that gift is valued up to $60, which is just very kind of them. So you go to thrivemarket.com slash to access that and set up your account. If you haven't used them before, I am a big fan. I've loved them for a long time now. So thank you to Thrive Market for partnering with me on this video and restocking my pantry. Let's put some of these things away and then we're not too far out from Jules being here and we're gonna go check out that cute little coffee shop, get some things planned, organized, and get work done. back home from my co-working and meetings with Jules. It's fun, we got some fun projects underway and then I hopped on a meeting with YouTube actually. I was, it's very it's very neat, it's interesting. I was selected to be on um, a panel of creators that gets to test the new feature of, you know how I link products as many as I can in the description? YouTube's launching its own thing to where there's actually like photos of things that will pop up next to a video for people to shop so it's easier to identify like which link is which. I might try to play around with it and y'all can let me know if it's helpful or more useful or like not worth the hassle of trying to like re-switch everything over to that. But that's pretty cool. My tasks for kind of refreshing and getting things back on order in terms of computer stuff is mostly just going through and I categorize every single transaction. Everything for me links through QuickBooks and then I denote if it's personal or business. And if it's business, I denote exactly what category the expense is. And I write a note as to why it's a business expense. And then if I have a receipt, I like upload a receipt. And that's something I try to do. I try to do it once a week. Sometimes it's every other week. And sometimes it's once a month and it takes forever. A lot of people also wanted to know um, if I could share more of like, when I say I'm doing computer work, what that means. I'm happy to do a whole video on that if that's interesting. Um, and I have a lot of different things I plan. Like for example, I have a little ongoing to-do list on my computer where I plan out um, like campaigns that I need to shoot, um, brain dump of just other things. And then I break down each day by the hour. And then I have so many different Asana calendars that I use to organize my whole life. So if you want a video on like the more digital side of what I do, let me know, that could be fun. I'm sure it's very niche and like not a lot of people would watch it, but also could just be fun to, to share. Can we take a minute for how beautiful these tulip hybrids opened up? They're part tulip, part peony. And they're so pretty. They're on my bedside table too. What do you think, Max? You think that they're so pretty? 
I do too. Lighting a candle because good smells. I think I needed to trim that wick. Good smells always motivate me to clean the rest of the space. I'm like, it smells good. Let's make it look good. So let's start a little refresh cleaning situation. I got dishes. I got to get trash. I got to wipe down counters. Got to clean the floors. Those are the top, top things. Tomorrow we can do more detailed stuff when I have more energy, but let's break in. Go. I'm saying that to hype myself up. It's kind of working. <laughs> us about an hour to make dinner. I'm making opa soup, as I said. I've shared the recipe before, but I'm also gonna take pictures along the way to share it as a blog post on the new website, I think. So hopefully it will be easier to just Google and find and be able to reference because I know I still get tagged in a lot of stories of people making opa soup and it makes opa very happy. It's just basically pouring things in a pot. <laughs> it's so easy. Um, and then rolling some dumplings and dropping those in. So. Take out Max, and then we will get to cooking. This is what I use to make gluten-free dumplings because you just add water to it. I know it's a biscuit mix, but it works so well, and it's so easy. Um, I have a few different types of broths. Actually, I did get this one from Thrive Market, but I might supplement with some beef broth that I have on hand because I think I'm gonna make a lot of this. But all you do is you brown sausage, and then in the oil, you brown some onion and garlic, and then you add in all the canned things, you bring it to a boil, and then once it's to a boil, you drop in the dumplings, spinach, you serve it up with some Parmesan on top. It is so easy, it takes no effort. One of my favorite things to do is roll little dumplings because it feels like, feels like you're playing with clay. It feels like a little arts and craft project, but then you get to eat it. So this is gonna feed me for <laughs> a week and a half. When I say meal prep, I mean make one big pot of soup and eat that for every meal. I just served up one literally to take a picture of it for the possible blog post before the sun goes down because it is getting dark real fast out here. But the house is feeling so clean. We have food prepped, we have things put away, we have the pantry restocked. I'm gonna be present with my friend who's almost here and just enjoy a night, a girl's night in. Okay, and a boy's night out. Hey, you asked for it, come in. Go for what you want in life. But um, I'm excited to continue some more resetty type things tomorrow, including fresh sheets. That's my favorite thing in the world. I can't wait to wash my sheets and some other, some other little tasks. just slept nine and a half hours and sleep is not the answer when you have autoimmune flares but 
sometimes it feels like the answer and I'm feeling a lot better this morning, which is great because like I said, I'd love to ease back into movement. I haven't moved my body in days because I haven't felt like it. And today I did so much yesterday that today is like a more chill computer work day, which is awesome. The physical tasks I have left are, I'd love to clean all the bedding, wash it fresh. I'd love to give my shower a deep clean. I still haven't bought a squeegee, which I have a glass shower now, so I really need one because the glass looks bad. Tonight I would love to do some kind of like body reset things, maybe like a teeth whitening strip, maybe reapply self tanner, maybe a face mask, all that just kind of feel like refreshed and put together for the day in that way. So I kind of feel like I might just start washing bedding now. I normally think through laundry when I'm not filming because the laundry machine's right here and it's kind of loud, but I have computer stuff to do anyways. So let's let's refresh the bedding first thing. I haven't made the bed yet. Could be a good time. Still been loving the laundry strips from the good old days, years and years. Also, I know I've mentioned it before, but I've been giving Max all of his meals and this when I have time because it takes me like 10 minutes to hide everything or when I don't have time and this, and he loves it. Like I started feeding him 15 minutes ago. He's still going and I think it's been so good for him. And I think, I think he's successfully losing weight, which has been, I've been feeding him a little bit less, but it takes him so much longer to eat it in this that I don't think he's noticed that I'm feeding him less. The vet should be very proud of me next time he goes in for his next checkup. And this has been a huge, huge lifesaver. I have an Instagram campaign coming up with a like healthy chocolate chip brand. And so I found this old recipe from when I was on Taste Made. Look, look at baby Mikel. I think I was maybe 19 here, maybe 20. <laughs> Beautimus, she says. I might kind of riff on this. <laughs> Thanks, old Miguel. All right, guys, here we go. We have two whole blog posts up, but hopefully this will be a helpful resource. Not too bad for just a couple iPhone picks. This one is clearly an iPhone pick, but you know, I tried to tried to get some good angles. My ideas so far for this are obviously most requested links. I also think it would be good to have all of my discount codes on one page. I would also like to make travel guides for the trips I've been on, Austin guides, gluten-free Austin guides, of course recipes as I think of them. But if there's anything specific that you would like to see on this that would just be helpful, I think it'd be great to have one central spot to say like, if you're looking for something, hopefully it's here. So if you have ideas, let me know any requests. This is like a little fun little passion project, but sheets are done. So let's go put that on the bed and it's about time to wash off this face mask too. camera fell earlier uh, I turned it back off after finishing the shower and I tried to turn it back on and it would not turn on so Max and I went on a couple mile walk I went and got packages I just filmed a whole nother project for not YouTube and it's turning on I have a backup camera but this one is my favorite <laughs> and it's been on the out it's been it's the lifespan is there's not much left so I need to start thinking about repurchasing it, but I've had this one for a couple of years, so I'm actually surprised it's lasts this long with how I take it literally everywhere, but just getting um, some editing done for a not YouTube thing, and then I think I need to go run out and buy supplies to film that recipe for a different campaign, and these sweet, sweet roses from Jordy are also on the way out, so it could be a nice little refresh thing to refresh those flowers as well. Um, and just get everything back in tip-top shape. I have laundry to fold and we're still getting life in order and it feels good. And I don't know if you could tell, but me going on a walk, I feel like I have more energy now. Also have liquid energy and all of that feels really great. A riveting rapid fire meal time. Literally of basics. 
that I own and I go through and I rebuy. Uh-oh. <gasps> These aren't the right ones. I have specific Adidas socks I like, but they're supposed to cut a little bit more here. And I just wear them until I have holes in all the toes. <laughs> and then I buy a new pack. And I officially have holes in all the toes. So, shoot. These aren't the right ones. These will show a little. But this, I do know they will work because it's my favorite tank that I wear every single day. I put on a sports bra with this one today, but I normally don't wear a bra with them. And I was linking them for a video when I saw them in this olive color that I had never seen before. I literally wear these under my shirts. I sleep in these. I work out in these. I am so in love with these. And it's so weird. I love Express, but I haven't figured out how they do their pricing because randomly they'll be $44 and randomly they'll be like $17 or $26. They just like wake up in the morning and decide the price <laughs> and they'll just randomly be like, oh, here's a new color that I've never seen before. So I just refresh the website constantly and if they ever drop down into the teens, I will buy it. Or in this case, got two of this color. So I'm very excited about that. Last moment of silence for how sweet these were. Oh yeah, they're crunchy. It's time. They lasted almost three weeks. Out with the old, in with the new. I love lilies because once they all open up, you don't have to arrange them at all. They just pick their own little whimsical pattern and it always looks so good and intentional. And I just, I just love it. I gotta clean up that counter next, but can't wait for them to open up. What do you say we just do one of these? It's not a vlog if I don't do that magic trick simply to motivate myself to clean up, but laundry is done. Fresh flowers are out. These flowers are absolutely popping. The house is clean. I have enough soup in the fridge to eat for days. I had it actually for breakfast and I'm about to have some more. <laughs> I just had a couple more work projects come through though and a couple unexpected things that I need to edit. And my goal is to do all of that before I have tap in two hours. So I think with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, but thanks for coming along in just like a very realistic couple days in my life. And it was really nice to be motivated and to get some things back in order and kind of refreshed and resettled. <laughs> thanks bud, you're so sweet. He's so sweet lately. I think it's all the, oh, he sees a friend. <laughs> I think it's all the bully sticks he's been getting. Um, speaking of the bully sticks though, thank you to Thrive Market for partnering with me on this video. I will have that link, thrivemarket.com slash mikelgancy down in the description box, but that gets you the 30% off your first month and then the free gift. And the free gifts, always, I have FOMO. Some of y'all let me know in the comments what you get and they always sound so great. So if you did that last month or whatever, I'd love to know what you got. Can you comment it? And just let me know your experience and everything with it as well. It's a brand that I adore, so love getting to hear y'all's thoughts but we love you yes we do we hope you have the best rest of your day yes and we'll see you in a video yes very soon yes <laughs> bye